Hi dear parents, welcome back to another math hour. Today I'm just going to show you how to use inverse technique again on a different equation. And in this case it's 11 minus 12 way equals 97. And we are going to try to solve for the variable a. Okay? Now as always, let's set up this equation. I need a line that goes right through my equal sign. There we go. We know that on the left side, I put a little L indicating left side of the equal sign and the letter R indicating the right side of the equal sign. And again, the rule is pretty simple. If I want to solve for the variable A, I need to get rid of all the numbers in my way. I need to get rid of the positive 11. I need to get rid of this minus 12 as well. They're in my way. They've got to go. And we're going to figure out how to do that. Okay? So first things first, let's see. My variable 12 minus 12a is on the left side of the equal sign, and that is good. The variable stay on the left side. However, my positive 11 right here, that's just an ordinary number. That should not be on the left side of my equal sign. That needs to go to the right side of the equal sign, and that is blocking my way. So let's get rid of that positive 11. How do I get rid of this positive 11? I take its inverse. The only way I can get rid of a number is to fight it with another number. So if this is positive 11, the inverse or the opposite of it becomes minus 11. And whatever you do on the left side, you've got to do it on the right side for balance. So this will also be a minus 11. You see that? Now some kids make the mistake of putting minus 11 right over here. You can't do that. Minus 12a has a variable attached to it. The number 11 has nothing attached to it. You cannot mix up families like this. One family stays with its own family in math. So I cannot put minus 11 underneath a number attached to a variable. They're two different complete species. Okay? Numbers stay with numbers. Variables stay with variables. Okay? Let's get rid of that and let's do the math over here. Positive 11 minus 11 cancels out because that's zero and now minus 12a is free and minus 97 minus 11 if you use the calculator is minus 108 okay so far so good not bad now let's take a look a is still attached to a number in this case minus 12 minus 12 is firmly attached to a I need to snap off that minus 12 I need to break it off from the a and the only way I can break off a number from the variable is to divide it by the exact same number with the exact same sign in front of it. If you make some kids, for example, forget to put the negative, if you do it like this, this is wrong. Minus 12 and positive 12 are two different numbers. The only way to break off that minus 12 is to divide it by the exact same number with the exact same sign. And whatever you do on the left side of the equal sign must be done on the right side of the equal sign for balance. Minus 12 divided by minus 12 cancels out and becomes positive 1. And that means A is now free. And of course, if you put this in the calculator, minus 108 divided by minus 12 is a positive 9. And that is the final answer to this equation. All right, thank you.